hello and welcome to this affinity photo tutorial I'm doing this on a PC but you could do this just as easily on a Mac and I would assume on the iPads as well now this the title of this tutorial is a faux HDR or fake or not you know not real HDR um, processing now I know people complain about my long-winded introductions but I'm afraid this may be a bit long-winded um, normally when you process an image this is the JPEG version of it um, you would then use the adjustments to get you know, the, the look that you want now me not being a fantastic photographer um, I do rely heavily on the process inside of it rather than catching it in camera mainly because I don't have a great equipment or I don't carry around lots of equipment um, and I'm not like I said before I'm not the world's greatest photographer so from this image I can get something like this now I know a lot of people don't like this sort of image but this isn't a true HDR image um, normally with HDR you would take three images or more images of the same um, scene and you'd underexpose one image, another exposure at the right level, and overexpose another image, merge them together, and get the overall well exposed image. Now, there is a way of doing that, you know, in a fake way by making three different versions of this, but I do it by just doing two versions. I don't necessarily worry about exposure I just go for color and detail because I find that when I'm processing an image you know if I get the colors nice vibrant colors that I'm after I lose detail and if I try and get the detail I lose the colors now this might just be my inadequacies of developing images but it's sort of the style that I come up with and it's a style that I like and you may or may not want to copy it so now we've got that sort of introduction out of the way let me shut these down when I take a photograph I always get the camera to save in both RAW and JPEG so you can do this in JPEG although there won't be as many pixels in the file for you to work on so it may not come out as good so I'm going to be working on the raw version let me just open that up so this will open up in the develop persona now if you had the JPEG version of your image you could open it up in the develop persona and then just sort of basically work in the same way so what I'm going to do I'm going to have to make two versions of this same image so the first thing I'm going to do is what I nearly always do when I process you know, people do things in their own way and you know work in, how they work is different and what they like but the first thing I invariably do with landscapes anyway is I drop the highlights right away down to zero <coughs> or minus 100 to get the details back in the sky which invariably are lost mainly because of my poor photographic ability um, or my poor camera possibly um, so once I've got the highlights down to zero I can push up that now at this first image I'm working on I'm going for colors not detail so I'm going to push up the shadows right the way up to a hundred and I'm going to drop the clarity all the way down to minus 100 so there's like almost no detail in there so next thing and like I said this one is for color so I'm going to push the saturation right up to I don't know quite why it's 50% if it's as far as it would go that should be a hundred but hey ho and the same goes for vibrance so I push the vibrance and the saturation up as far as it would go to 50% now it could vary from image to image but you could then tinker with the 
brightness, exposure and what have you. Um, I'm just going to inch up the brightness to about 3 and the exposure I'm going to type this in it's going to be 2, 3, in fact I think there's a point in there somewhere 2.350 so <clears throat> it's very bright and as colourful as I can make it with these settings so basically that is the main settings for the first image now me personally you know I would save this as a preset you c you could do each picture individually but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this and go to add preset and then I'm going to give it a name now I do already have a preset for this but just for this I'm going to just call it A I'll delete it later so that is A, so and then I'm going to develop that. Come on. And then I'm going to export it. Well, you, you know, I would export it, but just for quickness, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that layer and then come to edit no, file oh yeah, new from clipboard and save another version of that there and then I will shut down that raw one and did I want to save the changes no you have to remember you don't save the changes and then I'll come back to this and I will open up that raw file again and this time we're going for sort of no colour or very little colour but more detail so again I personally am going to start with dropping down the highlights to give me back the sky and the shadows I'm going to again I'm going to push this up as far as it will go and the clarity I'm going to push up pretty much as far as it will go 92 95 whatever where are we on we're on 92 so I'll leave it where that is and this time I'm going to alter the contrast and I'm going to push it up to about 15% just to give me some of those darker colours and uh, shades and again the brightness I'm just going to push that up to 3 so that is pretty much all the settings I'm going to do there and again I'm going to add this as a preset and I'm going to call this one B So then I can develop that. So I now have the two images, one which is more details and no colour, and the previous one which is like more colour but no detail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the one with the detail, I'm going to copy that, come back to the one with the colour, and paste that above and now we're just going to blend them together now there are plenty of blend modes that do work and will get what you want but for my personal taste I use luminosity so there you've got sort of the color and the detail that I personally like my personal taste and I like it and this is what I go for um, so then it's just a case of saving this under a new name and that would be that now obviously this I've done a setup and the settings are for this particular image but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stick with those settings or you can't alter it once you've got it to this point but let me just shut these down and I'm going to go for this other raw file that I've got here make it to open and so we're going to go with preset A so there we have the colour and no detail version so I'm going to develop that 
and um, then I'm going to oh, I can do it from there. Copy that, and then new from clipboard. Shut down this version. Open it up again, and go for preset B. So now I've now got the detailed version. So develop that. And once I've got that, I'm going to copy this layer onto that layer, uh, image I should say, and then change the luminosity, uh, blend mode to luminosity. Now, like I said, not every, these settings won't work with every image, but it doesn't mean you can't tinker with them once you've got them, because I personally would like a bit more colour in here than I was getting, so I can come to the bottom layer and I can add a HSL adjustment and I can sort of boost those colours up a bit with that or if you didn't like that you could let me just turn that off you could come to this if you if it was a bit too colourful you could drop down the opacity of the colour image behind so you've got those two options there um, you may still want to make this a bit brighter um, so you could add um, where is it maybe levels or brightness or contrast let's try brightness as contrast and we'll pump up the brightness a bit and let's go that way yeah so I mean it does look a bit HDRE but it's not a real HDR image and it may not be to everybody's taste I mean I think I've overcooked this a bit and I would tone this down a bit myself um, I'm just trying to show that you can sort of make adjustments and even if you could sort of add a bit more detail by coming to the top layer and duplicating uh, sorry coming to merge visible which will make a copy of all that's gone before it and put it all on one layer and then come to filters sharpen high pass and I put it on about four pixels apply and then change that to either overlay soft light hard light or vivid light and then that will add a bit more sharpness I mean I can see that the, the difference in that I'm not so sure it will show up in this recording but that will add a bit more sharpness so really that is the end of this tutorial of sort of making a fake HDR image and as I've said before not really to everybody's taste and I do agree I have overdone this this particular image a bit much um, but let's give it a go and if nothing else it will teach you about making presets for your um, develop mode persona I should say and uh, so thank you for watching and goodbye